back to the channel. Today I'm doing a little bit of a beauty video and I've missed this. I feel like it's been so long since I've sat down and done like a get ready with me or a tutorial and today that's exactly what I'm doing. It is super gloomy outside but I'm not letting it dampen my spirits because I've had something really fun arrive and that is my first ever clip in ponytail. This is definitely not it. I just want to be clear about that. This is the before. <laughs> um, so you can kind of see if I just put my hair up, given it's kind of short, it's looking a little bit limp and sad and this is what I'm working with. But I'm going to try and make this look a lot better and I have some tips and tricks along the way that I want to show you guys. So as you can see, I have like little frizzy bits. I've got baby hairs poking everywhere. Um, you can see my scalp through there a lot of the time and I kind of have some tips and tricks that are going to sort all of these things out and make this look a lot more smooth and polished and kind of give me like a little facelift at the same time. It's going to be tight. <laughs> so I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to start off with some mousse. I'm going pretty heavy with the mousse today and I'm just going to put this all the way around my hairline, kind of where all my baby hairs are. And start working this towards the back like that. Don't forget about the little sideburns. And the same thing on the nape of my neck back there. So I'm just working all that upwards like that. So the reason I like to use mousse to start with is firstly because it's going to tame all of my little flyaways and all my little baby hairs. And then also it's going to provide me that extra grip and texture just so I can actually style it a lot easier because my hair is on the soft side. So if I just put like a ponytail in, it tends to like sort of slide through the elastic band a little bit. Whereas this is gonna give it a lot more grip. The next thing I'm gonna put through is a Frizz Ease Serum and that's just again to tame all these little flyaways and baby hairs. I mostly have them here. So I'm just making this super smooth and shiny. It looks kind of wet and I don't mind that. Okay, so now that I've got my product in there, I'm going to start brushing it all in kind of an upwards direction. I want my ponytail to be sitting kind of here. It's gonna be quite high. So I'm taking a brush like this, like a very dense little head brush, dense bristles, and see how smooth that makes that immediately? That's what we're going for. I'm gonna pop a little bit of hairspray underneath here just so I can collect my short hairs a little bit easier. Okay, and now I'm just gonna secure that there with a little hair tie. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just pop a bobby pin into the back here just to prevent these little shorter hairs from coming down and this is gonna be covered by my ponytail anyway. Okay, so now that I've got my ponytail positioned exactly where I want it, I wanna reinforce the strength of this a lot because obviously I'm gonna put in a clip in ponytail and I don't want the weight of that ponytail to drag this elastic down. So the best way to reinforce the strength of a ponytail is with like a bungee uh, elastic. Now I don't have one. Basically what a bungee is is like a little piece of elastic and on each side there's a hook, but you can very easily make one. So I've made my little at-home version. I have two bobby pins and I've threaded through a normal hair tie and you can just use this and it has the, pretty much the same effect. So what you want to do with this is pop the first bobby pin in right kind of below that hair tie and then start wrapping that around the pony stretch it out a bit and then slide the second bobby pin in as well and that just provides so much more grip and strength here now the next thing i want to do because i want this to have a lot more height to it i want it to be like a perky kind of high pony so what i'm going to do is grab another elastic and i'm going to put that just a couple of centimeters maybe like a centimeter above the first few whoa look at that height boom <laughs> So see how you can like see through my hair and see little bits of scalp poking through? A little trick that's quite handy is to just grab a really dark eyeshadow or an eyeshadow that sort of matches the color of your hair. And then you can start to color in pieces just to fill in any like obvious gaps. And also if you don't like the shape of your hairline, a lot of people actually take this so that they have like a smooth, smooth hairline. But I want that to look a bit more normal and organic. I'm just gonna fill in any obvious gaps here. See what to that spot there. And I'm gonna give that a little hairspray. Now because my pony is gonna be primarily straight, I'm just gonna straighten out these little kinks in the ends of my hair real quick. And then we're ready to pop it in. And now the exciting part. 
<laughs> so this is my Luxie ponytail. This is what it looks like when it arrives. Basically, you have this one area here with a little clip. That's going to go there below my hair tie. And then this little bit comes off to the side. So once you wrap that around your hair tie like so, you then use this to wrap it around and hide the little seam. So clip goes in there. Okay, we're in business. So that has secured to itself with Velcro and then I've just got this one piece here off to the side which I'm going to wrap around here. But before I do that, I like to cover this in a little bit of product. So I'm going to just grab a bit of mousse and pretty much wet this. And that just makes it a little bit easier to wrap around and control. Right, then I'm going to secure that little piece I wrapped around underneath the pony with a little bobby pin. And I'm going to do a second one on the side just for good measure. Woo -woo! Okay, that is done. So that's how easy it is. All of a sudden, I don't have like a sad little limp pony anymore. I have all of this going on. Bouncy, a lot of volume. I think I might just quickly flick the ends a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off with a little bit of finishing cream. This is just like an anti-frizz one. <laughs> I clearly have a frizzy issue. But I just don't want there to be any flyaways in this section. I want this to be real slicky. There we go. All right, what do we think? So I've got the volume here, I've got the wrap around so you don't see any seam, and say goodbye to my sad little limp ponytail. I now have all of this going on. Oh, it just makes you wanna <laughs> start a music video or something. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Especially for people with like short hair, like lobs. This is just not a hairstyle that you can ever really achieve unless you've got these extra pieces that you can use. And I feel like they make styling so much quicker and easier. So I am pumped about this. I think the next one I'm gonna try and do is like a big textured one but I wanted to just see what it looked like straight out of the box into my hair with yeah a little bit of a straightener run through it but that's pretty much it let me know what you think guys I hope you enjoyed all my little tips and tricks along the way let me know if they're new to you or if that's kind of how you've been doing your hair your whole life I'm not sure if they are new to you give them a go and see if they work really well because that feels secure real secure I wonder if I could do it all the way around the world ready <laughs> Alright, and on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and see you guys in the next video. Bye!